As um, Angelo said, I'm a professor at Central Superlake in the Department of Signal uh, uh, Communications uh, and uh, inf Information, and I'm doing my research at the l 2 lab. So just a, a word about, ab about us. So I, I was saying that Central Superlake is a top engineering school in, in France, so we are second in France after Ecole Poly Polytechnique. And we are uh, part of the Paris Saclay University, who is the first university uh, ranked in France. We are ranked 13 uh, uh, in the Shanghai uh, ranking. In telecommunication engineering, we are also first in France, second in Europe, and the 30th, uh, 23rd in the world. So after the, this, this uh, introduction, I would like to, to enter in the, in the scope. So. Uh, as Angelo said, we had uh, now a, a collaboration with uh, Zeta Scale uh, since four years. So I have first met Angelo in a conference in San Malo. So it, it, it was great. And he, he had a tutorial on, on Zeno and for com computing. And, and I said, this is the tool that we, we need to show uh, how computing is, and, and IoT is, is, uh, is important. So uh, we have in Central Supelec uh, uh, um, a, a sequence of, of courses for the first year uh, students. So, so it's after the, the bachelor. Uh, so in three months, they, they have courses on IoT network uh, de design and on data uh, analysis. So uh, we profit from this uh, sequence that I coordinate at Central Supelec uh, uh, to introduce some concepts on, on fog computing for, for for uh, IoT, and we have, as I said, a sort of challenge or a hackathon where uh, um, students, so we have more than 30 students each, each year, that they, they implement uh, uh, Xeno on, on test beds and uh, test some, some uh, algorithms, as I will say uh, afterwards. So, so uh, and, and why we, ch we have chosen Xeno? Because Xeno is a, a, a perfect uh, framework for applying the, the theoretical concepts. So as it has been explained before, we, you can store data in a distributed way. Xeno is right, so you can put it on small devices. And Xeno has, we can also make uh, seamless routing with, with Xeno, but you do not forget the physical meaning of, of, the, of the positions where, where your, your uh, sensors are. So you can do uh, seamless routing, but you, you can also target your, your routing as has been explained before in the kitchen, in the, uh, in the, uh, 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 in the plant and, and so on. So uh, first we, we, we started on a project for uh, distributed face uh, recog uh, using Xeno. So, so uh, the students had, had to, to build a small Test beds uh, where they have uh, Raspberry Pis equipped with cameras, uh, so very, very cheap cameras, and then they deploy Xeno on the Raspberry Pis. They deploy Xeno on uh, a server, and uh, they they, uh, they have a fog in this way, and they they have uh, they have to implement a chain of, of functions on the on the fog. So if if we take the the face uh, uh, recog uh, as uh, an example, it captures. The, the video, so we have the, the first function that has to be de deployed on the Raspberry Pi. And then the, they have to uh, extract the faces, encode the faces, and uh, compare the, the faces with, with, a, with a base. So we have four fun functions. The, the first one is uh, mandatory on the Raspberry Pi, and the others can be put uh, uh, on the fog. So uh, um, we did this for the first three years. We are, uh, w the first year before uh, COVID, it was on site. The other years we had to do the, uh, the, the uh, to do this online. So it was not on, on Raspberry Pis. So the, they were they were working on home install installing Zeno on your PCs and making if they have a distributed test bed. And this year we are, we are, we are back on site. So we, are, uh, we have uh, also integrated the, the robot that has been shown uh, before in our demo. So uh, uh, we have turtle bots uh, where the, the students deploy, uh, uh, deploy Zeno. They also have the same application of face recog, but the, their ob objective is to uh, uh, follow some, some people. 
So, so the, the, if they recognize the, the face of a known uh, uh, person, they follow uh, him. So it was very uh, amusing. I, I don't know if 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 this will this video will will work. So the, the sound is not uh, important, but, but uh, you see that this is a, a group where uh, the, the, if the robot uh, uh, sees that th this girl is, is, is here, uh, he will be afraid and then he will go back. And then if uh, another uh, uh, student comes, he, he, will, he will go back to, to her. And then it may turn uh, uh, to the left or to the right, d depending on, on, on which uh, a student uh, he, he will see. So students were also able to, to use the, 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 the LIDAR and to uh, cluster the, the different outputs of the, of the LIDAR to, to see if there are many uh, objects to, and, and to identify where is the, 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 uh, the uh, person. So it was uh, amusing, but our objective is not only uh, for so our objective is is not only for for build, uh, for uh, controlling a robot uh, using uh, Zenum. So we are a, a telecommunication uh, de department. So our objective is mainly to 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 uh, to, to study the, the fundamental uh, trade-offs on the on the fog. So when you are placing a chain of functions on the uh, on the fog, it's very um, important to uh, to see that uh, the, the co there are many uh, constraints the objects are are small so uh, processing capacity is is low so you, you, you cannot run everything on the uh, on the bots also the the bandwidth may be scarce we have uh, wi-fi communications but we are play, uh, planning for next week to, to replace wi-fi by by uh, by uh, lora in this case the bandwidth will be very very scarce and also we, you have uh, storage uh, that is not uh, unli unlimited so uh, uh, students are also uh, uh, and, uh, are also t testing what is the the impact of of deploying everything in the robot deploying everything in the server or uh, making some uh, 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 placement of of, uh, of of functions so this uh, also uh, 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 was an introduction to our uh, research works. So, so um, as, as as we have seen from from this uh, very simple de demos, there is a plethora of interesting uh, things to 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 solve. Uh, for example, here we have a chain of, of functions. We have a, 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 a graph of of nodes. Nodes are uh, heterogeneous in the sense that they have different uh, capacities. Links are also heterogeneous. So, so a first uh, research work that, that we, we did wa was to, to, um, uh, to propose an optimization uh, a framework for uh, placing the, the, the a chain of, of functions on the fog. So, so we have also we have uh, tested it by, by simulations and we have also a test bed that, that was built at uh, uh, Systemix. Uh, that is a research uh, institute here in, in, in Saclay where Zeno was, 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 was deployed and uh, we have tested d different uh, optimization uh, schemes. So we, we had this uh, paper published two years uh, ago and we are planning to go f further on this uh, research. So, so we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, research uh, projects that we submitted with the uh, uh, with Zeno and and we hope that, that this this projects will be accepted so it's um, so for for example it's very in, interesting to implement uh, federated learning on on the fog uh, so uh, in this uh, example example here we have some industrial uh, em environments where where we have many devices so devices have to have to perform a, a collaborative task uh, so um, uh, so each each device has his own source uh, has its own source of of uh, information but if they want to, to do this uh, co collaborative task they have to exchange information between uh, them so zeno is a, 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 an excellent uh, framework for do, for doing this you can perform some of the federated learning tasks in in local and some in uh, a server uh, and uh, and then uh, try to uh, uh, optimize the the placement of this uh, function so the, the
the advantages of this is that the safety can can be ensured so if you are in a, a plant some of the uh, critical uh, uh, functions have to, have to be done uh, on the uh, edge and some of the uh, and, and also the, the the result of the learning in form in the form for, for example of of some par parameters of the neural network has to be sent so we hope that, that our all this will, will be uh, accepted and, and we are open to, to, to future collaborations on research projects, for example. So uh, it's, this is the end of my talk.